just, yeah. just when you make that when you make that statement, there is no evidence yeah. of any differences. That statement automatically entails you have checked. I am listening to you. I'm just paying attention. You have checked what the gospels or the Torah looked like yes, I have. in I've Arabia, studied. in Arabia, and then you made the inference by studying the text, yes. which is present in Arabia, and then you say there are no differences when you make that claim. Because when you say there are no differences, mm. it automatically entails that you have got yes. the I Gospels or the Torah. Reason. So which Gospel and which Torah did you compare from Arabia with the rest of the world? I don't to say, believe that there is one from Arabia, but the rest of the world... But you make the claim, didn't you, uh, that there are no differences? Yes, there are amongst the manuscript tradition of the gospel that we have from, from Muhammad's time and hundreds of years before, there are no serious differences, okay? Now, if you're going to claim, which is evidently what you're saying, if you're going to try and claim that there was a different gospel in Arabia to the one that was present in the Pangea, in Arabia to the one that was present in the rest of the world, you need to present some evidence. No, no, we're making simple statements. Quran is no, saying... You're, not, you're making a claim and then you're refusing to present evidence. No, no, evidence. I'm saying the Quran is making the statement, interacting with the people there. Right? Quran is a record of history too. If you don't accept that Quran is historically interacting with people like the Jews and the Christians, then you haven't understood the Quranic text. The Quran like that. Right. So the Quranic text is very clear. It discusses and interacts with the Jews and the Christians there. Mm -hmm. And it tells them, you know, this is what you have maktubani indahum. You know, it's very clearly this is what Isa al Islam is uh, or uh, Musa al Islam, that the name of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi not the name rather. He himself, Sorry, Muhammad, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yep. he is mentioned, written, what is within them. He's absolutely not, and that's one of the biggest um, proofs that Islam is alive, Sorry. but it's also a change of subject. So if, if you allow me to finish my point, I will. Quran is interact. Um, you need to understand what I'm saying, first of all. You're just jumping, I don't know how many things that you see in your head. Quran is interacting with the people, yep. and it's telling them that you have within your writing. Yes about Muhammad Islam being written. That's what the Quran is saying to them. All the more reason um, we know that Excuse is me, alive, sorry, sorry. What's your name? Alex. Alex. Quran is stating within the interaction, so historical record, right? To the people that it's interacting with, the mm -hmm. Jews, and, Jews and the Christian people. Yes. And it's telling them that you will find him and Nabi al-Ummi, al Rasul al Nabi al-Ummi. The messenger, the unlettered prophet, or a ummi, you can understand ummi to be even a goyim prophet, right? Whatever, unlettered prophet. He is mentioned. Maktuban indahum. This is how the Quran ayah goes. So when this interaction has happened and it was interacting with the Jews and the Christian people, this is what the Quran is making a clear statement. Now, this is what the Quran is presenting. So if you say there are no differences, what we would expect, because you're making a positive claim. I didn't make any claim there are differences or no differences. You stated by saying there are no differences between any of these serious differences between any of the manuscripts from the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi at that time, right? That's what you're saying. Yes. Whether it's in Arabia or elsewhere. Yes. When you make a statement like that, whether it's in Arabia or elsewhere, of course, you haven't studied anything from Arabia from that time period to make that statement saying there are no differences because only thing that you have is outside the Arabian Peninsula and you're extrapolating because all the others are some, some sort of, you know, very similar without any serious differences. You're assuming what was present in Arabia was the same, isn't yes, it? Yes, because there's no evidence that it was different. That is not an evidence, it's an assumption. And so it's really quite simple. If what was had in the Arabian Peninsula was different to what was outside of the Arabian Peninsula, we would have some evidence for it, but there isn't any. No, no, no. Just because you have no evidence surviving. For example, when did we discover the Dead Sea Scrolls? That's irrelevant. I'm just There's... giving you some interesting points for you to consider. There are many writings that have gone lost in history from mm. our site, right? And then, <laughs> like what? The one that was eaten by a sheep. Which one? I can't remember. It's in Sahih al I can't remember the exact reference. We can discuss that another and, time. Uh, no, no, hang on. Let's talk about it because you're going to just, just come in with machine gun tactics here and there like, to score brownie points. Let's discuss that. Muslims that, are that, in hang on, hang on. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not interested in scoring brownie points. I'm, going, I'm interested in you to learn 
from you perhaps and you learn from me on this subject that we're discussing. I'm interested so, in the salvation so, of your soul and your soul and um, your soul. And if you die believing so in we can talk about the salvation. salvation. If you want, we can talk about the salvation. I know, I'm just telling you what I'm interested in. Right, good. So if you're interested in salvation, we need to have a proper foundation of our faith scriptures. Yes, right? which we do. Um, we the Christians do, including your Quran. And how many Gospels were written? Four. Let me ask you again. I mean, I'm sure everyone's heard what you said. You said four. Let me ask you again. Yes. To give you the second chance. How many Gospels were written? That were written by Jesus' disciples, four. I didn't say written by who? No. Now my, you're my, interested in scoring brownie points. Uh, no, no, no. You're trying to catch did you me ask me? Did you, something Alex, did you, something ask, did you ask me to, to clarify my question? Okay, ask me to clarify now. Clarify. Okay, clarify your question again. Right. When people are writing Gospels, yes. how many Gospels were written? By Jesus' disciples, four. Jesus' disciples. And how Matthew many other Mark. Gospels were written other than the disciples? You mean the ones that come hundreds of years later and were written by frauds? Um, when you say hundreds of years later... Yeah, the earliest of the Gnostic Gospels, which, which by the way, if you took to be true, could contradict your Quran in multiple ways. For example, they believe that Jesus did actually die by crucifixion. My question was simple. Yeah, people giving, were writing... People were. you a simple answer. Was John a disciple of Jesus? Yes. But according to who? According to your Quran. No, according to which scholar is John a disciple of Jesus? According to your Quran. Excuse me. Your Historically Quran. speaking, according no, no, no. to the... I don't need to go historically According speaking. to the scholarship. Historically look, look. Speaking, you deny according, to, according to scholarship. According to scholarship. Mm. Do you value scholarship? Yes. Good. You value, according you to you scholarship, Alex. According to scholarship. Do you value the Quran? Excuse it's me. It's a simple question. Do you value the Quran? Um, I value the Quran in so various ways. So why do you ways. not believe what it so says? Let me when ask it you again. The Torah and the Injil are inspired. And let me still let me ask today. you the question again because I, I have, my question was this: How many Gospels respect, are written? Brother, this is, so this is proof that Islam um, is lying. Excuse me, Alex, have, right, right. brother, one, 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 brother, one moment, please. I'll, I'll make time for you at some point. According to scholarship, according to scholarship, mm. is John the disciple of Jesus Christ? Yes. According to which scholar? According to your Quran, not that it's scholarship. So your you misheard Quran, my question, right? Quran, I am not asking according to the Quran. It doesn't matter. I'm asking according to scholarship. It doesn't matter because your Quran affirms so basically, that, uh, so basically, you value the Quran more than the scholarship. No, you value the Quran. No, I'm asking you. What do you value? It doesn't matter what I value. It matters what you value. Do you want to have a meaningful discussion? Yes. Right. So not, let well, me ask you again. You're not listening to me. So that's why. Who do you value? Well, what do you value? Do you value the Quran more than the scholarship? I value truth. And I'm, I'm asking you, Alex, Alex, simple, Alex, simple question, Alex, simple question. You're not willing to when it comes to scholarship, this, this, this Islam is Alex, when it comes to scholarship mm. and when it comes to a text, Quran and scholarship, mm. in your own understanding, yep. Are you talking to me or are you talking to, to or are you looking for some friends to help you? No, I'm listening to you, but I'm keeping Fine. an eye on the surroundings. No problem. So do you value scholarship? Yes. Good. Do you put the Quran more value no. to scholarship? I the Quran is demon inspired nonsense. Good. So you believe in your own belief, mm -hmm. Quran is not anything near the scholarship that what is presented yep. from or correct. According to scholarship, it took us a while to get there. According to scholarship, is John a disciple of Jesus Christ? Yes, and according to your Quran. According to which scholar? I don't need to answer that because your Quran Because you, you, the, no, no, the you affirm God. that John is a disciple of Christ. Did, did you understand my point that I was making? Uh, don't get into this, brother. Don't get into this. No, I'm just a, asking him a question. Sidetrack. According to, you can tell me if you don't know. Okay. If you don't, Alex. Alex. If you don't know, you can simply say I don't know, and I can move on. I do know, but I don't. Right. Need to talk according about to which scholar? According to which scholar? Quran. I can give you an entire list. Of Look. Thoughts, but I just said. I. Give me. Give me. Give me two scholars. Quran. You're not. You're just not listening to me. Your Quran. You said Quran is not valuable when it comes to scholarship. Yes, it's not because it's demons. So let's talk about scholarship. No, we don't need to talk about scholarship. We can talk about your Quran. No, I, do, I, I am. Do, do, look, I. Okay, are you not okay. understanding what I'm saying? I have challenged your really assertion. Simple. I have challenged your assertion yeah. that John is a disciple. And you can't because your Quran confirms the reliability yeah. of the Injil. Where does the Quran say John is a disciple? I'm going to give you a list of all, Excuse me. all of the verses that. In the Where Quran does the Quran say John is a disciple of Christ? I'm going to give you a list of verses Alex? that affirm the Injil. It's just not listening. Alex, it's just not listening. Alex are you listening? Quran. Where does the Quran say. Excuse this me. This is why you're apologists. This is how you you're apologists attempt to defend the Islamic why, dilemma. Why? 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 Why is it? Excuse me. Why is it that you're not engaging with the question I asked? Okay, I'm going to ask you once more. Can I ask you once more? 
Where does the Quran say John is a disciple of Christ? It doesn't matter. Your Quran affirms the, it's the inspiration That's of all the I'm New asking. Testament. The question I'm asking is quite specific. He's just not listening to me. Okay. So basically, me. basically, should we take, should we take you know, this somewhere else and we can have Yeah, yeah go somewhere else because of yeah. course this is how you cannot handle it. Of course you can. See, it's quite obvious you can't handle it. You're not able to, capable of having a, a reasonable discussion. You know what? See you later. With all this ad hominem and attacks, it's not going to help you for your salvation. Subhanallah. What's happening with these people? Speakers corner, you know, people coming up like this? From where? Thank you. These ones are not.